back. All right, now to the weather forecast. Yeah. It is a little better out there today, but but it's always there's always a but here. We have big yeah. butts yeah. around here <laughs> weather-wise. A I'm lot. Not going anywhere near that. <laughs> Tell you what, and we have another one coming this weekend. Let's show you what's going on. <laughs> Shot from the Sandia Peak cam, and well, we have some smoke, as Dick mentioned, but it's not as bad. So for the most part, not a bad evening out there. We could even get a little east wind going later on throughout the evening hours and the overnight hours. So that'll help keep the smoke at least manageable. It's not that it's going to be gone altogether, but you won't see that real thick smoke with the falling ash. And everything smelling like a campfire, at least through tonight and early tomorrow. Then, as we get into tomorrow afternoon, things do start to change. 88 in the metro right now, west winds for us at 12 miles an hour. So the winds are up just a little bit, but they're still manageable as well. 80s across the north, down to the south, anywhere from 103 in Carlsbad to 81 in Ruidoso. Really, Ruidoso pretty comfortable up Cloudcroft. We're in the mid to high 70s as well. Sustained winds at this point across the state, around 20 miles an hour, Raton in Las Vegas, 15 miles an hour, Grants, 13 Rudoso, and 20 in Carlsbad. You throw the gusts into the mix. Albuquerque's been about 17 miles an hour throughout most of the afternoon and evening, and that continues at this hour. Windier around Raton in Las Vegas, no surprise there, 21 miles an hour throughout areas like Silver City. For tonight, what we've got here is a cold front that's relatively weak across the Northeast, but it may well push in through the gaps of the Tejeras Canyon for tonight. So as it does that, those winds speed up just a little bit. And we're talking about maybe 20, 25 mile an hour wind gusts for us later on tonight, pushing out of the east into the metro area. What that will do, well, it'll help mix out the smoke just a little bit. Tomorrow morning should be okay. Not a whole lot of smoke across the area. Our problem comes tomorrow afternoon and evening because once we get through with this east wind working its way through and clearing us just a little bit, Beyond that, things start to change all over again. So we'll watch for those gusty winds tonight to see if they can help us out just a little bit. Again, it's not going to be one of these East Canyon wind nights that rattles your windows, but you could see a little bit. Problem is we get those real strong southwesterly winds coming in tomorrow to some degree, but really Sunday, and that's going to push through the fire zone, going to spark fire behavior, and then it's going to push that additional fire behavior and smoke in our direction as well. Throughout the rest of the state, some spot showers will remain possible across the northeast and extreme heat across the southeast for us. So everybody's got something going on this weekend, whether it be smoke to the west, spot showers to the northeast, or heat to the southeast. We'll have a lot going on. And as far as what's happening right now, not much in the way of showers. Trying to get a few going across the northeast, but that's a tough go at this point. Really not seeing much success there. Across the north and west, temperatures here 70s and 80s, mostly sunny skies. Southwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour. Temps for the most part going to be in the 80s throughout the weekend and well into next week. We are seeing places like Gallup that are going to have some pretty good smoke for tonight because most of the plume is heading dead to the north. 88 in Silver City, 96 in TRC, and 82 in Kamada. Sunny with afternoon smoke once again. West winds 10 to 20 miles an hour out there, and high 80s look like a good bet throughout the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Over to the southeast, same old story here extreme heat, extreme fire danger as well. Winds out of the south 10 to 20 miles an hour, and Wow, Roswell looking at a lot of digits there. Over 100 degrees pretty much every day. Meanwhile, across the north and east, spot rain will remain a possibility here, but we haven't seen much squeeze its way out so far today. We'll hope we can maybe get a little bit in throughout tomorrow as well, but it's not going to be widespread, just so you know. That slight chance is really what we're looking at between 10 and 20 percent across favored areas. Meanwhile, over the northern mountains, partly cloudy, a spot storm possible here. We will see increased smoke around areas like Santa Fe over the next couple of days, especially the next couple of evenings. Down to the East Mountains, temperatures here for the most part in the 80s, winds out of the south 10 to 20 miles an hour. And finally, right here in the metro area, we are going to see temperatures in the 80s and low 90s, sunny with a lot of evening smoke. And yeah, we'll go hazy. I didn't have smoke on the old special flip book selections. I need to get one of those. But hazy, we'll call it. Saturday into Sunday, and Dick, you're going to want to watch Sunday night because we could see winds 25, 30 miles an hour sustained, and you know what that could mean for smoke. <coughs> yeah, get used to it. Sports is next.